Hi, I'm Patrick Bion, Chief of Product here at Arrival, leading our van programs. Here today in Banbury, our R&D centre here in the UK, we really want to give you an insight into the design of our latest van product. So everything we do at Arrival is designed to make sure that we can offer fleets vehicles not only at a price comparable to that of diesel competitors, but actually we design everything from the ground up. So the platform architecture, the components, the body structure, the materials, and the software that powers our vehicles to make sure that we can make a vehicle which is not only more efficient in its cargo volume, its payload, but that we can really target technologies and features specified and optimized for commercial fleets. So the problems I've mentioned that we've solved in terms of the materials technologies, the platform architecture, the components, everything we do, we do it to enable scalability. We know that for big fleets, servicing and the daily checks in the vehicle are really important and we want to speed those up as quickly as possible. We have a single integrated point for all service connections here at the front of the vehicle, all of the coolant, brake fluid, windshield reservoir, all in a single place. The software is equally as important. So all of our vehicles are fully connected and therefore benefit from over-the-air updates for, for the life of the vehicle. So the over-the-air updates on the connectivity give us the ability to monitor some of the key health aspects of this vehicle. It's thermal management system, battery management system, powertrain, door status, etc. So not only, not only can we monitor the health, but we can forecast what issues we're seeing in the vehicle. We offer a number of different heights and lengths. So we have three heights of vehicle, a 2.7, Again, built around that, that process of walking on and off the vehicle 200 times a day, a 2.4, and then a sub two meter roof height for our customers that need vehicles in urban areas, multi-story car parks, etc. Battery pack in the center of the floor for a low center of gravity. So this vehicle here, 5.8 meters long, 14 cubic meters cargo capacity. Again, that we make sure that every vehicle we offer has greater cargo capacity over the footprint of the vehicle compared to any other vehicle available. This is a thermoplastic composite body structure. We want to be able to bring a number of different vehicle lengths, heights, and configurations to customers around the world quickly. And to do that in a cost and a time efficient way means that we have to really rethink the traditional processes used in body structure. So where traditional vehicles are using complex, expensive, high pressure stamped metals, which are then painted, we have built a new body structure entirely and a new proprietary material from the ground up. All of these panels are fully recyclable, so at end of life, or in the instance that we do need to replace a panel, we're taking this part, putting it through a recycling process, and really finally bringing a circular economy to body structures. So I'd like to show you a few of the really special features about this product. So we've integrated a, sense, a set of hardware to enable a lot of safety features that are becoming quite accustomed on passenger vehicles, not necessarily commercial vehicles. So here we have two cameras at the front, two on either side, one at the back, combining that with a set of ultrasonic sensors around the vehicle and radars front and rear. The data coming from these cameras can be used by fleets in a lot of different ways, such as security warnings, insurance claims. Uh, effectively, we have a black box in the vehicle. Also means that for fleets where insurance claims and damage is a big problem for them, we have the ability to only warn the driver and the fleet as to when something's happened in the vehicle, whether it's a crash or a security threat. Now, something really important for this vehicle is its upgradability. We want to make sure that that vehicle, when it leaves our factory, only gets better over time. So all of our vehicles, as standard, have over their updates. That means that we can improve its efficiency, its performance, and bring new features into the vehicle. We created a number of different solutions for fleets to use for security in their vehicles. You can use mobile phone, or key fob, or an NFC device. And we use that with these touch points. So the driver's proximity is detected, coming in, Touching the, that touch point releases the door. Whether a driver's carrying a box, it's wet, it's raining, he's wearing gloves, doesn't matter. Release the door with the touch point. This door's then really easily just sliding forward and backwards. And that gives you this really compelling aperture. This floor height is around about 200 millimeters lower than competitive diesel vehicles. So not only does that bring you much bigger cargo capacity over the footprint of this vehicle, but it means that for getting in and out, it's a really seamless process. So let's come in and I'll show you some of the key features on the interior. So by designing the vehicle from the ground up, we've really managed to exploit a few benefits in this vehicle. We've pushed the driver as far forward as possible. We've pushed the dash line very low down 
and we've opened up this very expansive visibility from the driver's seat. Of course, getting that driver far forward as well just maximizes that cargo capacity I've talked about. So we've designed the vehicle to make sure that the driver's got as few distractions and interactions as possible. We believe that the most seamless experience is the safest one. So we have three forms of control. Here on the steering wheel, we have these directional pads and they're used for audio, GPS, um, voice control, etc. And then we use stalks for gear select, park, reverse, neutral drive, lights and wipers. And we combine that with voice control, which we want drivers to use as much as possible. And importantly, this content can be customized for vehicles for different customers. So we want to make sure that if there's any third party app, any other functionality that fleets are using, they can integrate it directly into their vehicle. And so for the walk-in configuration here, we have this raised pedestal and a flat floor, as I mentioned, running from the front of the vehicle all the way through to the back. Really trying to make sure that anything fleets need, the ways in which they're going to utilize this vehicle is catered for as simply and as low cost as possible. So here you see one form of the rear door. We have a powered roller shutter, again, activated by a capacitive touch point. So the driver doesn't need to have their hands free to operate the Zor. Everything we do at arrival is focused at making sure that fleets no longer have to choose between a compromised product or paying a premium in order to bring electric vehicles into their businesses.